I'm in my portal.azure.com website and I'm looking at my storage. And what I'd like to do is to create a new file share and change the access to it. So I'm going to go to File Shares and I'm going to click on Add a File Share. And I'll call this one Shared Data. Remember, you cannot use uppercase letters. And I'm going to go to where it says the tier. I could choose Transaction Optimized, which is default, or Hot or Cool. I'll choose the default. And that way, Azure will determine whether or not I need hot or cool as far as the speed I need to access my files. So I'll click Create. And it successfully created my share. Now I'm going to go to my share and right click on it and choose Access Policy. Now I'm back in my Azure Storage Explorer. I can right click on my shared data file share and choose to manage the access policies. This can also be done within the website, but since it's still in preview, it errors out a lot of times, so it's not a bad idea to do it here. Now I'm going to click on Add for my shared data folder. And I'm going to choose the type of access when they access this as a shared folder. I can also set the start time and expiration time as well. I'll go ahead and move it all the way there. And now I'll give it a create, write, delete. I'm going to give full access to this particular share and click Save. The file shares can be accessed using the Azure Explorer application. If we change from blob to v2 storage, we can also map the file share as a drive letter on a Windows computer.